What's up everyone? Thank you for still being here. If you are still here and have been wondering where I've been, I am back like I never left. So, <laughs> it's me being obedient to the Lord, okay? Me coming back on here because if I'm going to be honest with you, I really don't want to be back on here. It took me four and a half years to actually step on here and <sighs> do what God called me to do and... Pure disobedience has gotten me absolutely nowhere and breaking out of my stubbornness and um, defiance to the Lord's instructions because it ultimately delays a lot of things in your life and also disrupts um, God's just plan for your life okay there's just a lot that goes into that disobedience is just not where it's at okay he will reprimand you a lot and the holy spirit will you know really pressure you but in the same sense if you really start grieving the holy spirit um and just you know ignoring him and not wanting to move when he says move he's not necessarily going to leave you but he doesn't want to be grieved he doesn't want to be ignored and so he's just gonna kind of distance himself until you are ready to listen and come back with a repentant heart and allow him to soften it okay so for the last three weeks the lord has been telling me to come back on here <coughs> and he's been giving me a lot of things um, to speak on the Lord's like, okay, you need to take what I'm giving you and share it with more than just one person. Because if I'm giving it to you, it's for multiple other people in the body. And so I have needed to step out of my selfishness the last couple of three weeks, the couple of three weeks. <laughs> yeah, that's the right way to say it, Samantha. Um, and kind of just gonna be obedient so I was writing and he was like no that's not what I want to talk to you about that's that's between me and you what I'm talking to you right now um and you can possibly release that later to people but right now what you wrote two to three weeks ago is what I want you to share because I wanted you to share it then and you did not listen to me so he brought me back to Hosea which I wrote this about two to three weeks ago and then like a week prior to that he was telling me to come on here and everything and i was actually working a job um for about a month and a half and i was going through a lot of spiritual warfare um been going through a lot of spiritual warfare god is good god has grace he has mercy he protects his children at all costs and um yeah, but he also teaches you a lesson um, when you are disobedient. He is going to show you that you can't just be out of his will because then you will be out of his protection um, in a lot of different ways. Be obedient and do what God is asking of you to do, all right? Okay, so I'm going to read Hosea. I'm going to read it verbatim as I wrote it because that's how the Holy Spirit was just really flowing what God has been putting on me to share through the power of my testimony because it will also set others free as the Holy Spirit is setting me free as I'm breaking curses generational um and just self-inflicted ones um as well as enemies um and forces that want to keep me silent that want to keep me under and it's just not God's will and your enemies will not succeed they will not prosper and it's just gonna make them mad but it is what it is i've gone through enough torment enough torture and enough warfare the last <sighs> pretty intense the last like four months but um for the most part my entire life and so to be 
where I'm at right now with as much wisdom, with as much knowledge, um, with, okay, with enough knowledge and understanding that allows me to walk in that wisdom because that's what comes when you spiritually mature and as the Holy Spirit just activates you um, in different areas of your gifting, um, whatever season that you're in, he's going to definitely activate um, certain things within you that you did not know was there because it wasn't your time for it to be released um, or revealed to you, which is another video that I will be making. But back to the point, let's read this so that I can go. Um, yeah. All right, <clears throat> bear with me. I gotta find it. It's been a few weeks and I wasn't prepared for this because he was just like, just do it and stop overthinking it. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. All right. Whoa, I can't find it. This is the enemy right now. He's like, no, you're not releasing this. But the devil is a liar. He is a liar. I don't understand. How is it that... Bruh. Hold on. Let me check my phone. All right. I found it. Had to do a little digging. But I found it. And. All right. So I wrote this. A few weeks ago. Like I said. I'm just going to read it. How I wrote it. Because that's what the Lord told me to do. And I need to stop overthinking. So if anyone is having an issue with this. Okay. With the Lord telling you to do something and you're overthinking it that is the enemy who wants to keep you and your mouth shut because what god has put in you is to help people it is to edify the body it is to contribute to what god has in store for his children for his people and um you unlock things for all right, that's too deep. Let me just get into it. <laughs> Man, focus, Samantha. This morning I woke up. I only got three hours of sleep. I don't usually have an issue with sleeping, but the past few days I haven't been in a, in peace and unable to sleep. So I go to Psalms and I read 2911 and immediately reciting it to myself. The Lord gives me strength and he blesses me with peace. I repeat that a few times. And then I flip my Bible subconsciously and it turns to Hosea, the first page of the book. And I'm gonna keep it real. I read the Bible when I was locked up at a, at a young age and didn't grasp or understand it. And after that, I would just read scripture randomly and knew the basic popular ver verses. But reading the word consistently will keep you on your toes. It will not allow you to act a fool or have malice and ill intent because it is, the, it is living. And the more you read, the more you feel the spirit and it convicts you as it strips you from the impurities of your heart, mind, body, and soul. Those four things are the components that make up your flesh, which is why the Bible states we must die to our flesh daily and why reading the bible does that because you're rooted in the spirit living word of god three years ago i started reading consistently and i stopped doing that about seven months ago mad at god when really i was lacking accountability for my disobedience i started this channel after disobeying god for four years to start it and when i finally obeyed he blessed me with the first Within the first few days of posting with views and subs that blew my mind and it shocked me and instead of standing firm on my faith and consistent with what he was leading me through, I fell into the trap of the enemy and back into fear and disobedience, which leads me to Hosea. And when I tell you the fresh revelation and deep conviction I got pertaining to the season that many of us are in completely slaps me in the face. I hope this at least helps one person the way I gained clarity and helped me. If you haven't read Hosea, please go read all of cha 14 chapters. It is very timely and God really corrected me after I spent the last two days in his presence crying out. And all he kept saying was, I gave you instruction already. Take heed. And I was thinking about it all and all of his instructions that he had given me, gaining new insight and revelation. 
but I felt his presence in a disciplinary way. So when reading this book, I caught more of what God was allowing me to feel the last few months and trying to get me to understand. Hosea's most popular verse is, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. But it is so important when reading the word to read from the beginning of each book so you learn the storyline and prophecy and get the true message God is trying to deliver in whatever season you're in without being deceived by the devil because he knows the word too. The reason people have knowledge and understanding of things without reading the Bible is because it is written on our hearts. But when you actually read the word, you gain more clarity and begin to walk in the wisdom of that knowledge and receive new revelation and understanding to strengthen the gift of discernment properly. I'm going to rewind again. Do not be easily deceived and ministered by other spirits because the Holy Spirit reveals the scripture and brings it to life in people's hearts it is already written on our hearts the word is already written on our hearts the holy spirit activates it and brings it to life but we do have to fight every single day our flesh because we are not able to live in the spirit if we are constantly feeding our flesh okay so moral of the moral of prophet hosea's testimony and prophecy is about israel being an adulterous wife God refers to Hosea's marriage as equivalent to Israel being adulterous to God, idolatry and rebellion being our main adulterous act, and how God gives us chance after chance and finally says enough. And he gives his children up to their oppressors so they may come to a place where they return to God, acknowledge their offenses, and get to a place of repentance. Then in chapter 5, it shows how the failures of Israel's leaders negatively affected the people, and God withdrew from his people and they received judgment and how they tried getting God's favor by sacrificing cattle. But God knew they were doing it from a place of ritual, being something that they knew to do in order to right their wrongs. Um, not in a heart posture to change, which is why God withdrew and their sacrifices held no weight. So in the day of judgment, the Ephraims and the tribe of and the tribe of Judah's immediate response was to seek assistance from man and not God. We all have done this where we have gone to man for our troubles to help us when we ourselves got us into the mess to begin with due to our disobedience. But God is the best help we can get when he is our only savior. So God told them to go seek his face because in their affliction, they will be they will seek him earnestly, which is why in the season so many people are facing judgment because it is bringing us back to union and marriage to Christ. We are called to be his his bride in Revelation 19, 7 and John 14, 1 through 3 tells us he will not return until his bride, his wife, is ready, meaning the body of Christ, his children, his people are truly back in unity and pure without blemish. And that just means his people coming out of the wickedness, deceit and submission of the oppressors. And going through the refiner's fire, which is what purifies us and gets us to that point of full submission to the Most High. The amount of grace and mercy he has. Whoa. Okay. So I'm going to reread that because no wonder he wanted me to read this first before I went into. Before I made. All right. Focus, Samantha. Okay. I'd be over explaining things way too much. But I just got revelation as to why he wanted me to read this because it pertains to what I wrote today and what he put on my spirit today and why I should have posted this about a month ago when, again, I was being disobedient and did not want to come on here. So anyways, focus, Samantha. Um, anyways, it would... It makes sense to me because I know what he spoke to me um, and the Holy Spirit is just funny in that way. And he loves to um, just highlight certain things um, just to let us know like, hey, you are hearing me right. You are hearing me correctly. Um, just be obedient and, and take heed to it because there's a reason why I'm speaking to you this way. And it's for... <sighs> A way bigger purpose than you um so anyways um the amount of grace and mercy he has for us is mind-blowing and it should be a reminder of why the fruits of the spirit are so important especially self-control and patience which is what god shows us he has for us every day but especially in these seasons where 
were in affliction in afflictions judgment and under our oppressors hands sometimes it's not always warfare from our enemies but the legal right we gave them and the disobedience being out of god's covering but what we do when we acknowledge that is what either purifies us or impurifies us meaning we have to take full accountability and choose to surrender to god and his will or or give into our flesh and continue being defiled by spirits that are working for our op oppressors. Go read all of uh, 14 chapters of Hosea. I pray it helps. He also talks about the restoration over his children after such afflictions and judgments. Okay. And I feel like this season, a lot of people are being restored and um, he's just been speaking to me on that um, this morning, and it just kind of makes sense as to why he doesn't want me to post what I post, what I wrote, um, what he was giving to me, what what he was ministering to me this morning, um, because he's very strategic, and your obedience is what kind of lines everything up together. Um, and I'm starting to realize why um, I need to use my voice and speak up and um, not be silenced anymore as I'm. <sighs> Y'all don't even know, OK, so. Um, yeah, God is good, though. All right. God is so good. He's so um, gracious and merciful and loving and kind and patient and. Um, he don't play about his children. He will also discipline you. He will also sit you down and smack you up a little bit and um, really get you to a point of submission because he loves us and he doesn't want us to perish. He doesn't want us to go to hell. He doesn't, he, he has plans to prosper us and not to harm us. It's so true. He doesn't want us to live in lack. He doesn't want us to live um in just turmoil all the time and torment and um under our oppressor's hands and out of his covering he wants us in aligned with his word so we don't get led astray really has been showing me a lot of different areas of my life he's been restoring slowly and just giving me more wisdom and allowing me to go through testing to move in that wisdom you know um it's a process for sure but sometimes when he's trying to accelerate things he'll make you go through um certain things and see yourself and be a reflection so that he can progress you and accelerate the process because God is strategic and if you're on the board and you're on his team and you're playing um he's gonna get you to a point of um surrender the way God loves us is a blessing and our impenitence is what God is trying to correct us out of is trying to correct us of out of the goodness of who he is if we catch on to that correction because because some people will have their lamps filled with oil and others won't meaning some will be spiritually aligned and awake and some will not the oil is a representation of having the holy spirit's guidance and walking in it and impenitence is having a hardened heart being unrepentive it has been generation after generation since the beginning of time when you read his word he shows up time and time again for his people and doesn't give up on us what he doesn't do is force himself on us but he does put us through what we need to go through to learn and to seek his face earnestly with a pure heart because when you really are his he will get his point across to you one way or another he really is a jealous god and we have been an adulterous wife as his, as his people more and more people in the body are getting themselves ready. And that's why the signs and prophecies of end times are so prominently clear. The judgment, the wrath, and the shakings is strategic and accordingly to be aligned with his will, in which has already been fulfilled in the spirit and manifesting in the physical. So keep your lamps filled with oil and be obedient and repent and 
yeah revelations the seals are unfolding so um let's get it together thank you for watching if you're new to the channel like comment subscribe if you are not new to the channel and you have been patiently waiting thank you for still being here with me i appreciate all of you guys uh, for all your support for your love